Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open a whole draft booster box of Modern Horizons 2. So we've done a bunch of set boosters already, along with some pre-release packs and bundles. If you've missed those videos, I'll chuck a link in the corner. Okay, so we do have, I think there's 36 in here, 3, 6, 9, 12, yep. So you only get uh, 30 in the set boosters. And I'm hoping these are loaded pretty well, so let's get cracking here. How have other people been doing with this set so far? Any tasty pulls? Leave a note in the comments. So we're going to skip over the commons here. And the uncommons we have Artbound, Shikari, Artbound, Welp, Vectus Gloves. Mog Salvage Goblins, nice! And Rise and Shine. Okay, so we'll put the rares down here. And a bird token, of course. And I like what they've done here with the draft archetypes on the back. If you're new to modern, that's pretty helpful. Okay, skipping ahead. Okay, we've got Mystic Redaction. Feast of Sanity, Squirrel Sovereign, Patrick Gnomes, and Sylvan Anthem is the rare, along with a Zombie Army token. So off to a little bit of a slow start. Ooh, it's Secret Lair! Advertising that thing. Oh, Chatterstorm. Yeah, we'll be here forever if I highlight all these squirrels. We've got Clattering Auger. Oh, that's cool. Skeleton Shaman. Have not seen that one before. Raving Visionary. Ether Swan Sphinx. And Karmic Guide. Along with a Mythic Turak Dread Cantor. Fantastic. So we'll have a separate Mythic pile up the top there. Okay, so first Mythic. I think the set boosters, we were hovering around nine or so mythics. So that's a bit more than usual. Normally a, uh, a booster box, you would only get, say, four or five. We've got Ghostlit, Drifter, Slag Strider, Blossoming Calm, Bone Shredder, and Lonus Cryptozoologist, Snake Elf Scout, Foil Kitchen Imp, and a Clue Token. So the piles are already out of control, but that is fine, I'll clean it up later. Okay, so next packet, we have Break the Ice, Squirrel Sanctuary, Altar of the Goif, Extruder, and Priest of Fell Rites, and a Thopter. So I'm trying to think what are the uh, mythics we haven't pulled yet. Obviously, uh, actually they're not mythics, but the fetch lands, there's a bunch of those we haven't pulled yet. We've got Said and Done, Spreading Insurrection, Prophetic Titan, and another mythic, Titania Protector of Argoth. All right. So I think the, uh, the Turak was the only one we hadn't pulled yet. Uh, that I can remember. Magus of the Bridge, Showcase, and a Beast Token. So Titania, I have seen that one before. Yeah, these packs, at least the set boosters, are typically loaded. The uh, draft ones were pretty good in the pre-release packs as well. Artbound, Javelinier, Lucid Dreams, Young Necromancer, Quirion Ranger, and Thought Monitor, and we get a split cut here, said and done, foilage, and a clue. Do we have a clue as to how crazy this box is going to be? Nothing to complain about so far, although I would hope to see uh, some fetch lands. We've got a still dromedary, timeless witness, nice. Healer's Flock, and Squirrel Mob, all right. And just casually pulling an Urza's Saga, all right. So that, I'm going to put that in the Mythic Pile because it's so crazy. And a Squirrel 
Okay, so this box is looking pretty good. We're definitely not looking like that guy. We're not totally lost. But we need those hits to keep on coming. We've got Blessed Respite, Scour the Desert, Blazing Root Waller, Zuran Orb, and Timeless Dragon Treasure Token. So we're getting close to the third of the way mark. Two Mythics, one crazy pull there, the uh, Urza's Saga. Sanctuary Raptor, Tide Shaper, Collider Scorch, that's awesome, and Wonder. And damn! Alright, so two rares in that one. So you'll see that quite a bit actually. I think uh, one of the slots there is a reprint slot. So you can get any of the rarities I believe. So have you actually seen a two mythic pack? Is that possible with these draft boosters? Leave it out in the comments. So actually you could probably get three if you've got a foil. Mono Skellion, Barb Spike, Flame Tongue, Yearling, Greed, yes that's us. And a mythic, yes Garth, One Eye, we will take that for sure. And a foil, Yavamaya Cradle of Growth, what? Okay, that's in the Crazy Pools area and the Thopter. Okay, so I initially, this is actually the only draft box I bought. I'm wondering if I should change my mind and pick up some more because these things are actually pretty good. Tireless Provisioner, Constable of the Realm, Goblin Trap Runner. And Goblin Bombardment for the rare, along with Calibrated Blast and a Zombie Army. Okay, so, third of the way through, doing pretty good. Can we do better? I'm sure we can. Lazatep Chancellor, Scurry Oak, Liquid Metal Talk, Retro, Milliken. And Piru the Volatile, wah 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 wah, and a Thopter, yeah, those uh, Pirus have dropped quite a bit. I think they were a couple of bucks initially, now they're uh, getting down there as people open more stuff. <clears throat> We've got a Ravenous Squirrel sketch variant, or showcase I should say, Foundation Breaker, Skyblades Boon, Angelic Curator, an ignoble hierarch, yes, we'll put that in the hits pile and a treasure. <clears throat> I mean, any goblin is a hit in my book, but that one especially so. Okay, specimen collector, radiant epicure, with a split card, fast and furious and upheaval. And a Misty Rainforest, yes! All right, add that to the pile, and a Goblin. I'm liking this box more and more. So how many fetch lands do you think we can pull out of one box? I think, record so far, I'm trying to think, two or three, I got two out of a pre-release pack, for goodness sake. We've got Legion Vanguard, Junk Winder, Ren's Run Hydra, Seal of Cleansing, and Sithis Harvest Hand Showcase, along with a Foil Sanctuary Raptor, and Bird Token. So it's looking like we're about halfway through. I'm going to say maybe like three fetch lands could be possible here. We've got a Herd Baloth. Arcus Acolyte, Necromancer's Familiar, Riptide Laboratory, Persist, not bad, and a Phyrexian Germ. And what do you think of the Phyrexians? Uh, are they coming back anytime soon? I have an inkling. Maybe the seem like they're dropping hints, or maybe maybe it'll be Eldrazi first um, about things coming back next year. Rakdos Headliner. Sweep the Skies, Prismatic Ending, Scourge Familiar, Phyrexian Imp, and Master of Death, along with a Clue Token. 
And uh, did anyone see the secret lair with the Phyrexian Praetors? With the Phyrexian writing, that looks awesome. And by the time you see this video, I've probably already put in my order for that one. We've got Glorious Enforcer, Strike at Rich, Road to Ruin. Canter Spell, nice. And Bloodbraid Marauder, along with a Aeromoeba, the Flying Walrus, and a Goblin. Doing well with the Goblins, I must say. It's nice to have a set that has Goblins in it with Strixhaven. I was a little bit disappointed. The only Goblin I've found there is the one uh, on the Reject card, where they're kicking them out of Strixhaven. Very sad. We've got Sudden Edict. Filigree Attendant Dragon's Rage Channeler, Sea Drake, and a Mythic Sarah's Emissary. Awesome. I think that's another Mythic I have not pulled yet. And a Squirrel. Okay, so yeah, we've got one Mythic in this column. Will we get a Fetch Land? If we really get three per box, which I have no idea if that's accurate or not. We've got Glinting Creeper, Batterbone, Combine, Chrysalis, Showcase, and Vindicate. Along with Fractured Sanity. And a Crab. And speaking of Sanity, uh, does anyone remember that Fraying Sanity card? Uh, you could combo that off with Fleet Swallower, I think it was, and uh, mill the opponent's entire deck, which actually did that a couple of times. The opponent was not impressed. We got Graceful Restoration, Caprochrome, a Goat, Vidalcan Infiltrator, Yevamaya Elder, and Obsidian Charmor, and a Treasure. Where is the spice? We're nearly two thirds of the way through here. I know, I know, we've got a bunch of crazy hits already, but we want more, don't we? We're like that greed card. We always want more. Okay, we've got a Power Depot. Vile Entomber, Flame Blitz, Soul Snare, and Sithis Harvest Hand, which I swear I've pulled the Showcase variant more than that one. Faithless Salvaging, Foilage, and a Bird Token. Alright, now we are two-thirds of the way through. This is about the time I would like to see a Fetch Land to really give me confidence that this is going to be a great box. We've got the Underworld Cookbook, not bad, Terramorph, Thraben Watcher, Seal of Removal, and a Mythic. Okay, we'll take that. Solitude. There's another one I have not pulled yet, and a Treasure Token. I'm going to have to do a uh, tally near the end of the crazy pulls and see how we did. Okay, skipping all the commons, we've got Graceful, Restoration, Thraben Watcher, Vidalcan Infiltrator, Mishra's Factory, and Usury Fortune's Flame, which they actually had a foil version in the bundles. We've got a foil Captain Ripley Vance, and Bird Token. Okay, so we've got a mythic there. Another fetch land. Fingers crossed. We've got Timeless Witness, Healer's Flock, Flay Essence, Flame Rift. And yes, that is just what the doctor ordered. Arid Mesa. Fantastic. Foil Revolutionist. And a food token. Uh, one thing I should note about the fetch lands. Uh, with the prices dropping precipitously, the standard versions are going to be affected the most. So if you are looking for some fetch lands, you're probably going to be able to pick them up real cheap soon. If they're not already, we've got Filigree Attendant, Terramorph, Caprochrome, Bone Shredder, and Moderation. We don't want Moderation. we got a crab. We want the Crazy Pools. The more mythics, the better. And I'm probably just spoiling everything because I've no idea what I'm doing here. Blossoming Calm, Archfiend of Sorrows, that's awesome artwork by the way. Prophetic Titan, 
Counterspell, nice. And Nykthos Paragon, along with a foil Steelfin Whale and a Squirrel. Have you built a Squirrel deck with the new Squirrel Commander? How is that working out for you? I don't think it's going to be a tier one deck, but you know what? Uh, it'll be a lot of fun anyway with these squirrels. We've got the Squirrel Sanctuary here again, Lucid Dreams, Barb Spike, Quirion Ranger, and Lonus Cryptozoologist Showcase. And a clue. So we're getting near the end here. I would say we're not looking like that for sure. We have got some nice pulls indeed. But we're hoping for a big finish. We've got Slag Strider, Said and Done, Ren's Run Hydra, and Chainer Nightmare Adept. Will we get another rare? We do Void Mirror and another Squirrel. So we have six packs left. About what you would get, or exactly what you would get in a pre-release pack. And we know how my pre-release packs went. If you haven't, uh, check out the links in that playlist I posted up in the corner earlier. Lazatep Chancellor, Blazing Rootwaller, Mono Skellion, Soul Snare, and Resurgent Belief. Okay, so things have slowed down now. Winding down, 99% of the audience has turned off. They're like, eh, there's nothing else in this box. It's just garbage. We've got Skyblades, Boon, but you who are sticking around, you will see the craziness, won't you? Sweep the Skies, Sanctuary, Raptor, Milliken, and Diamond Lion. That's not really what we're looking for. Foil, Lonus, Cryptozoologist, and some disgusting food. I don't know if I would want to be eating that. Uh, and isn't Asmarana, whatchamacallit, the cook? So, I don't know, maybe she's a good cook. She can make that stuff palatable. Scurry Oak, Flame Tongue, Yearling, Scour the Desert, and the Creepy Braids, Cabal Minion. I had a bundle with two of those. It was ridiculous. We got Dress Down and Timeless Witness for the token. Last three packs. We need some fetches and I'm just destroying cards now, but it's just a common, it's okay. I can hear the wincing already in the background there. You know who you are, Constable of the Realm, Goblin Trap Runner, Ravenous Squirrel, Hunting Pack, and a Mythic. Yes, we have Endurance. That is what we're looking for and a Construct Token. Two more packs, and then I'll do a quick recap. See how many mythics we got exactly. Okay, so there we go. Commons in the corner. We got Liquid Metal Talk, Blessed Respite, Arcus Acolyte, and Shardless Agent. Not bad. Along with Gaia's Will, Foil Razor Tide Bridge. And a bird token, last pack to crack. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so final pack magic here. We got Tired Shaper, Tireless Provisioner, Collider Scorch, Sea Drake, and Magus of the Bridge, along with a Squirrel token. Okay, so we got the two fetches, so we've got a Misty and Arid, and then we've got the Ignoble, Yavamaya, move him aside. Okay, so what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six Mythics, and then I'm going to call the rest like crazy pools. We've got the Urza's Saga, Yavamaya, Cradle of Growth, Foil, Ignoble, Hierarch, and there we have it. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.